Hello YouTube, uh, this is MB again. Welcome for tuning in. We are gonna talk about Python um, Explore Exploring and Inspection. I haven't decided the title yet, but it's gonna be something like that. We already know uh that uh, if you wanna know what is something uh, if you have a variable or some data or some object or some item and you wanna know uh what it belongs to or what is it then you can do this it will straight away tell you whether what it is it's a string but uh, there are some instances where uh, you are given some item and they, uh, you have to decide okay if this uh, data what they are given me if it is uh, of this type I have to do I have to take this action if it is of another type then I have to take another action right so then so basically if you are including it in an if statement or something then what you can do is is instance and you will say a comma you'll say str it's true so yeah so this is number one number two and number three is straight away straight up the health and say str right it's gonna tell you but before that i recommend you this uh, Take it, I mean, take this one as the you know, third uh, way of getting help. That is directory, str, right? It's going to tell you what are, uh, what all the stuff that is there inside str. So what are the other things that you can use uh, inside str. And um, let's say you want to say dir again. You want to explore further uh, down the tree. And you say str dot underscore underscore class underscore underscore so now you are going down further or inside the tree uh, subfolder uh, imagine this like in you know, a folder subfolder or directory subdirectory dir stands for it's kind of directory right it's it will it's going to list out the stuff it's uh it's straight away telling you that it's a directory uh, you want to know uh you want to drill down further then you just Put a dot and mention that and then it will tell you what is inside and you want to get some help uh, based on that let's say help now str dot underscore underscore class underscore underscore oops what did i do underscore underscore hit enter now it's going to give you help data and other attributes blah blah data description defined here uh, you know what are the subclasses uh, all this stuff. Uh, I mean, I don't recommend you to like, no, I have to go sit study. I mean, if you're in a school or something, right? You, oh, okay, so I have to study this. No, no, you don't have to. Basically, you know, uh, how do you explore, right? I mean, it's even if, I'm pretty sure even if I uh, find out uh, some guys who are actually working on Python, I mean, who are actually, uh, they release the new version of Python. If if I ask, you know, all these, they wouldn't remember. It's just that, you know, you need to know where to look uh, and how to find out. So when you face a problem, you know, or uh, you are given a task, you just explore this way. So let's uh, look at, you know, a few more things. Let's see, we, okay. I will say DIR and then I will say math. Where, where am I typing? and dir math right you want to do mathematics and oops it's not there okay uh well i have not installed that module that's okay D math maybe okay it's not there uh what would i take i would take integer okay so you you have integer here and you want to add some stuff well uh well i could install uh the math and cmath you know packages now but we will cover all those things in a later lesson now let's say and i want to do dir integer dot uh, underscore underscore add underscore underscore hit enter now you got all this stuff and you do help okay and now you figure out on what you need help on right you do this and it will tell you well if you are still not satisfied you want more you want more examples uh now how it is done uh, you can just google it right yeah. search online you'll get a lot of stuff trust me uh since uh, uh one of the 
a great advantage of uh, sticking with our uh, trying to learn a language like Python is it's so widely used. I'm pretty sure you whatever problem that you will face in like in the first five years of your uh, career in any programming language, it's not going to be new. Someone else might have faced that problem and they would have asked uh, a lot of people online. Uh, you if you search online you will find the answer and there are a lot of uh, places like stack overflow stack exchange where people get points for answering questions and if you ask question there you know you will uh, get points too if it's a question uh, faced by others in future right so uh, you are welcome for tuning in uh, sharing is caring so subscribe share have a great day